we're gonna see how this works today. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely day. I'm not entirely sure what day it is because I'm filming this video on the day that it was supposed to go up. It's gonna be up at some point before my next trans education video, but like, I've been hella sick. If you follow my Snapchat, which you should, it's the Riley Kyle. go add me on Snapchat, stuff's below. I've been so sick and you guys have seen that and like, responded to me and talked to me on social media about that, so that would be why this video was not prepared to go up. The video that I posted on Tuesday was already like, up, edited, and ready before I got sick, so like, like, that was, like, already done. This one was not. But here we are. It's gonna go up. It's time for my February favorites of 2016. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get into it. My first favorite thing this month is music. Obviously, Troy Sivan is on here. I went to his concert, had a video about that. Link's gonna be below and at the end about that whole mess. But still, nonetheless, Troy was amazing. As always, he's a favorite. Another favorite I've been loving is off of the Common Culture Volume 4 compilation album. Um, and it's Comfortable by Lav. Lav, I think that's how you pronounce the name. I'm not entirely sure, but Comfortable is just like a very like chill song, but it's also like kind of like a party song, but like really chill and I just, I love listening to it. It's so good. Everything about it is amazing. I've also been loving the song Here by I think it's Alicia Cara. Don't know much about her, but the song Here is so good and my favorite thing about Here is actually the 2AM version. So it's kind of like stripped and it sounds a lot more chill, but it's so nice. And the song itself is really good too. And then last but not least, I've finally been actually getting into listening to Melanie Martinez in Cry Baby. The album has been the best. My two favorites off of it right now besides Dollhouse are Cry Baby and Sippy Cup. And I'm really, really liking the songs and I think that these songs are actually on my first quarter playlist, which I'm gonna promo here for a sec. If you guys want to hear the music that I'm listening to, I don't use it completely because I have Apple Music, but for your guys' sake, I will have my Spotify linked below. You can go check out my Spotify and all of my public playlists. I got this idea from uh, That's So Jack, and that is to make quarter playlists, so for like the quarters of the year and stuff like that. And these three songs will be on that playlist, and you can check out my Spotify below if you're interested in listening to what I'm listening to. I'm trying to get back into my TV show side and all of that, and since I have been catching up on Criminal Minds this season, this season 11, it is so good. I am like, I think I'm like one or two episodes away from being completely caught up, and I'm loving it, loving every second of it. The show is so good, the plot is so good, the characters are so good, it just everything about the show is so good. If you've never seen Criminal Minds, go watch it now. And now, now we're getting to food. Okay, let's tell you about this. My favorite food has been a snack this month, and it's like almost gone, because I've been eating them all. It is uh, veggie straws. I don't know if you guys have veggie straws, but they're like they're like not potato chips, but they're like made out of other vegetables. So like potato, spinach, and tomatoes. I think they're so good. But these are the zesty ranch ones, and they are literally addictive. Like I love ranch. I'm a ranch person, and this just makes everything so much better in my life. I love them so much. I literally could eat a whole bag in a day. And now on to products and items and stuff. The first thing I have is this Matrix Bio Lodge Cleansing Conditioner. I was given this stuff in October when I fried my hair and basically it's not a shampoo and it's not a conditioner because that stuff can like be stripped and like harmful to your hair. This is like no stripping, no sulfates, no parabens or anything like that. This is for medium hair but like it still like works for my hair. So basically you just like put like five to ten pumps depending on how much hair you have in your hand. So work it through your hair and then leave it in. So like do that when you first get in the shower. Then like wash your body, wash your face, shave, do whatever you do. Leave it in for like five minutes minutes and then rinse it out and it like revitalizes your hair, puts moisture back in your hair, puts vitamins back in your hair and it has honestly saved my hair and like I'm out of it basically and I just bought a different brand and a different kind because I couldn't find this again but this is really good so if the new stuff doesn't work out this is amazing and it works really well because I don't think I'm ever going to start using like shampoo and conditioner again just because I know it's like really bad for your hair. The next set of products I want to talk about is from the Troy Sivan concert that I went to. The first thing is this beanie. It was the VIP exclusive merch thing beanie and it's so cute. It's got, it says Blue Neighborhood right here. I don't know if you can see it with this little house and it's blue and it's, the nice thing about this is usually like hats like this like are really like stretchy and like don't work for big heads and I have a big head but this one is like super stretchy and like really soft. So it like goes over my head well, but doesn't like give me insane hat hair. So like feels kind of like just like a neff beanie. Because usually fold over beanies don't really do that for me. But this is working like really well and I really like it and it's really cute. So that's good. And then also while I was at the concert, I don't have it like out right now because I think it's in the wash. Is my Just Trying to Be Cool shirt, which is pretty great. I really love it. It's just a white t-shirt and it says Just Trying to Be Cool in like a handwriting right here. I'll insert a picture here and that's what it looks like. 
like, and I really love it. It's super soft and super comfortable and really like classy and cute. And then my other favorite thing that I got from there is the really expensive Ease candle. It's so cute. It looks so cute. I don't know how you can see it. It says Ease on the like jar. It smells like heaven. It smells so good. It is the best smell. I'm addicted to this candle. If you ever love me and like I open a P.O. box or something, literally send me the Ease candle, like as many of them as you want because I want them all. And this is like the cute little box that came in so you can like store stuff in it. And as for books this month, I haven't really finished any books, but what I am loving again is Binge. I got the audiobook version of it, so I was listening to it and stuff like that, and it is so good. The audiobook version is so much different than the like physical form of the book, even though the physical form of the book is great, but I suggest you get that and the audiobook version because it just provides a completely different experience. I've been loving it so much. The book itself is so good. I love the book. Love it, love it, love it. Also, speaking on the book, this is the actual physical copy that I am giving away on my Tumblr. You can click the link below, follow what it says, Go watch the video that I made about it, maybe, I don't know if that- That was great, my card just ran out of space, so let's hope that this works now, maybe. But yes, the link to this giveaway for this copy of Binge will be linked below. It's got, like, some other cool stuff that's gonna, like, be given away with it, so you should go enter. And it actually ends when I hit 400 subscribers, and I'm creeping up there, so you know it, you might wanna go enter while you can. On another note, the last little random thing I wanted to talk about is group chats. I have been, like, pushed into several groups group chats, either whether it's my collab channel's group chat for quite the collab, or a group chat of people going to Troy's concert, or the people going to Playlist Live. I've just been putting a lot of group chats recently, and I really love it, because you can interact with a lot of people in like a group setting. It's really nice, really fun. Don't really know why I love it so much. It's just kind of great. And that's it. That's all I have for my February favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, you can give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what were some of your favorite things throughout the month of February. Let me know. Recommend things to me that would be fun. If you want to keep in touch with me on a more day-to-day -day basis, you can follow all of my social media, which is at the Riley Kyle everywhere. Links to the stuff is down below, and you should go check me out on places like Snapchat and Twitter. And if you like me so much, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week, usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so that's two videos a week coming your way. Plus, if you want to see my face in your subscription box more often, you should, like, click that subscribe button. Yeah, I think that's all I have. I really enjoyed sitting down and sharing some of my favorite things with you. Um, yeah, so I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye! I just got out of the shower, so if I look like a wet rat, you know why. Hey guys, it's Riley, and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. I have to be a little bit quiet because it's really late, but I still really want to be Today's video, even though it's a Tuesday, is not that's within this last week that 